and welcome to the Imperfect Tesla. So today we have a fun topic to talk about. Today we're talking light shows, not just light shows, but custom light shows, right? Light show is a feature that all Teslas have. I think, you know, usually the more recent Teslas have where you turn it on and the car will basically dance, flash all the lights and the windows and trunks and everything will do their thing and the car will basically dance to a song. And it currently comes with one song, which is a Christmas song, but you can have your car do a custom light show, um, basically to any song that has it set up for. Um, and to do that, with the holidays coming up, I mean, what better way to entertain your family, your guests, your friends, um, with the holidays coming up. So how can we get to that, to doing that? Well, let's find out. So to do a custom light show, you need basically three things, a USB drive, lightning camera adapter, USB-C to USB-A adapter. Now I say lightning camera adapter because this is gonna be based more on iOS. There's an option too for um, Android phones. I think it's like a USB-C um, camera adapter. But what a camera adapter does is it basically lets you connect your USB drive to your phone and then be able to basically manipulate the files in the USB drive from your phone, right? And of course, the USB-C, USB adapter, lets you plug the USB drive into the adapter and then plug that into the car, right? So with, with that, with those three things, you can basically run any light show. There's a site I usually go for all my light shows, custom light shows. There are a few options out there, but I usually just go to this one, Tesla light show.io. It has, a, it's basically a collection of light shows has been done by others and they published it and so on that side you usually get two things the you can download the zip file which will be the light show sequence file and the audio file or you can download the files individually so before you get to running the light shows let's talk about what you need to have set up right so first thing you want to do is format your usb um your usb drive you have it formatted once you've done that you want to create two folders in that usb drive one folder that's going to be called light show this would be the main parent folder for the light show this is where your tesla is going to read from to play the light shows right and with this folder here there can only be two files in it one sequence file and one audio file both files are going to be named light show and you can have multiple files multiple light show files in that folder it's just going to be one right so we're going to have one parent light show folder and then we're gonna have a separate folder called my light show files. You can name it anything you wanna name it, um, but my light show files just makes it easier to know what that is. And in this folder is where you're gonna have all your light show um, files in. Now, within my light show folder, what you also wanna do then is you wanna create separate folders for each one of your light shows. So if you're gonna be downloading 20 light shows, you wanna have a separate folder for each light show. Cause like I said, the light show files are all going to be named the same thing, lightshow.fseq for the sequence file and lightshow.mp3 or wav for the audio file, right? And so to make it easier to know which file is which, you want to have a separate folder for each one of those, right? And so with those, with that already set up, you can go to the website. Like I said, I use the teslalightshare.io. There's another option. There's a GitHub option. If you actually want to get into quitting lashes yourself, you can do that through the the github i also have that link in the description and so you can the, from using the light share um tesla light share site and i usually just download the individual individual files so i download the two separate files then i move them into my separate individual light sh show folder so let's say i'm creating i'm downloading i'm creating the light show for my carries all around for christmas right i'm gonna have a folder for that then i download the files from the website and I move those files into that folder, then I rename those fo those files light show. So you're gonna have lightshow.fseq, lightshow.mp3 or you know wave. And then you do the same for every light show you do, right? So with that, you're set up, you're good to go. Now, something I wanna mention is I've I've seen folks buying multiple USB drives for separate light shows. There's nothing wrong with that. It's all about convenience, right? Um, for me, I find it easier to just have one USB drive and I can put a hundred light shows on it. 
right? And I can use the short cord on my phone to move the files than carry 10, 20 USB drives. Again, if you're doing that, nothing wrong with that. Those light show files are so small that, you know, a 16 gig drive will probably hold probably like a hundred, right? So it just makes it easier, right? So um, if you go this way where you're gonna use the folders, you have a photo set up, you have everything set up. From there, right, all you need to do is at any point you wanna play a light show, you wanna make sure the file or the files that are in the main parent light show folder are the files from the light show that you want to play so say for example you want to do the james bond theme all you need to do is make sure you move the files in that james bond theme folder into the light show folder you plug it into your car tesla will read that and play that right once you're done you're just going to go again and switch around the, the files in that parent folder what I used to do before was manually move the files from each individual folders into the main light show folder, which wasn't too bad, but it's a little bit manual, you know, intensive. But I came across um, a, a, a video that um, some guy doing stuff did where he created a shortcut, right? Where you can basically set it up on your phone, on iOS, a shortcut that will go into your light show files folder you can choose what file you want to play and it will move it into the main lecture folder. And so that takes away like a lot of extra steps of doing that manually, right? I would say this though, you know, if you're not into creating short course, you haven't done it before, it might be a bit of a learning curve to do that. But if you're able to stick with it, it makes a lot of difference, right? So I'm going to put a link to his video um, in the description below. I'll probably just tag it at the end um, so you can... Um, go over there and, and see that. Um, but if you set that up, like I said, all you have to do then is once you have your light sh show folder set up, you put your files in there, you plug your light camera adapter into your phone, then you plug your USB drive into that adapter, you run the shortcut, you pick, you know, you force to delete it. the parent light show folder, you clear it out, you pick what show you want to play next, it moves that those files into the main light show folder, Take it out of your phone, plug into your car, you hit start light show. It's gonna show you by the way too, if you do start light show and it just shows you, you know, to get out of the car, close the door, it's not doing a custom light show. When you have a custom light show, when you click start light show, it's gonna show you loading light show, right? I think loading light show sequence file. And then once it's ready, it will tell you light show ready. And then when you close the door, it starts. So that's a way to make sure you to know that you are loading a custom light show. So once you've got everything set up, plug that in, start light show, let it load, close the door, and enjoy. And you know, you see here, I've got a few things going on. You know, um, I've got one here by um, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd, and I've also got all I want for Christmas. So just to show you how the different things that you can do. And I did a you know dual thing with the uh, original Tesla Light Show for both of our Model Ys, and so um, I'll leave a bit of a snippet of that at the end here. Enjoy, and um, hope I hope this has helped somebody, and hopefully it's helped you be able to enjoy your car a little bit more, entertain your friends as we go towards a holiday. You know, we got Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year. Everything's coming up now. Hopefully, if you get a chance to hang out with your friends, family, or your neighbors. This is some other way you can entertain um, those folks. And the good thing with this too, again, is now that you have, you know how to do this, you can do this for any occasion, birthdays, anything. As long as you've got a song or a show you want to play, just load it up, play it, and enjoy. But again, hopefully that's been helpful to you. And um, thanks as always for being here, and we'll see you next time.